Hi guys, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the paragraph text on your Squarespace website and what role, if any, it has in Squarespace SEO. So if that sounds like something that you want to learn more about, then you are in the right place and this video is for you. And if we haven't met already, then hi, <laughs> my name is Charlotte and I'm a Squarespace SEO expert. And here on my YouTube channel and on my blog and website, I talk all about Squarespace SEO and also web design and development, online marketing and business. So take a look at all the other content and resources that I have for you if that sounds like something that you want to learn more about. But in this video, we're talking all about the paragraph text on your Squarespace website and how it affects SEO. So without further ado, let's dive right on in. I'm gonna share my screen and show you what the paragraph text is, how it works, talk all about SEO, all that jazz. So let's go, I'm gonna share my screen here. Okay, cool. Before we dive into it, I wanna let you know that I have a free Squarespace SEO checklist and it is available for download. I've left the link in the description down below. And this Squarespace SEO checklist has been downloaded thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So you're an excellent company if you grab a copy. And whether you are a absolute beginner with Squarespace SEO, you're just trying it out, <laughs> figuring where to begin, you need someone to like lay it all out step by step for you. Or if maybe you've been at it a little while, but you want to make sure you haven't missed anything, you've done it all correctly, then grab a copy of this SEO checklist and it will sort you out, no problem at all. So grab a copy down below and you can thank me <laughs> in advance once you have it. All right, now we are going to talk about the paragraph text on your Squarespace website and how it affects SEO. So let's dive into it. First of all, you might be like, what is the paragraph text? So I'm gonna show you. If I go to, oh yeah, before I begin, this is a demo website that I've created on Squarespace version 7.1. So if you're using 7.0, then it might be called normal text, but otherwise, if you're on 7.1, follow along and you'll see what I mean. But even if you're using 7.0 and it says normal text, like that's basically what it is. So here, if I go to any of the pages on my website, and if I edit it and start playing around with the page content, you'll notice that I have, when I use text, there are different options on how to style it, right? So I can set it with headings, like heading one, two, three, four. And I have another video that I'm gonna link to up above that talks more about headings. So if you wanna know like <laughs> what headings are, how to use them, SEO, then click that link. But here you'll notice that there's also options for paragraphs, paragraph one, two, and three. And this paragraph is basically anywhere that you're using a text box and you have just normal text, okay? I think the default always sets to paragraph two. And so when we're talking about paragraphs, usually that's what I'm gonna recommend that you stick with is like the paragraph two, if that's what it defaults to you, but you could also use paragraph one or paragraph three, whatever it is. Again, this is just the normal text as it appears across your website. So whether we're talking about a web page, a blog post, a product page, an event page, any type of page that you have on your Squarespace website or post, then the normal text that you're gonna see is this paragraph. So when Google is looking at your website or if a person is looking at your website, remember that like, if I'm a person like here, you can just see even using this text here, this is all of the normal text on the page. And so for me, I'm seeing that this normal text has been stylized in a certain way, right? And in this case, I use it all the same, but you can kind of go in and change the paragraph stylings as well, you know, beyond just the basic like bold some of your normal paragraph text or make it italics or something like that you can also play around with how it appears um, visually. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So, oops, let me just move this out of the way here. If I go here to the top right-hand corner, do you see where it says site styles? If I click this little paintbrush, then that's gonna open up the site styles. And then if I, oops, keep having to move this. <laughs> and then if I click like fonts or something, then I can select any of that like paragraphs, right? That paragraph text that I'm using. 
and start playing around with, again, the styling of what that looks like. So visually, what does someone see when they're viewing just the normal text on your website? So you can change, again, the font, the size, the weight, like the line spacing, all these different things. And down here under the size, this is where you can play around with the different sizes of paragraph one, two, three, whatever it is. Um, you can also go take it a step further and maybe play around with adding some color to some of the different paragraph versions. But in most cases, you're just going to keep it like pretty normal as is. So that's how you can play around with the different design elements. Now let's look at the considerations for SEO. So here again, let's look at my, you know, kind of website that I have as an example here. So when Google sees that you have the normal text in here, that's all going to be under the normal HTML tag of just like regular text on the page, meaning all of this that you have in the paragraph or the like, again, anything that's just using the normal text anywhere on a page, Google is going to crawl and index your page and just see that that is normal text. It hasn't been, you know, fancied up with a heading, you're not using the normal text or the paragraph to indicate like something special or hierarchy, you're not using it to, um, you know, like do a markdown or something. It's just normal text on a page. So when Google crawls and indexes the, the paragraph text, that's what they're going to see, just normal text. Okay. So really, when it comes to SEO, there's nothing special about paragraph text. It's just about as basic and standard and normal as it can be. And so Google, again, the bot, when it's crawling and indexing it, they're going to see it, they're going to read it, they're going to understand it, but they're not going to think that it is anything special or worth noting necessarily from a structural point of view in terms of how it's built on the page. So I hope that makes sense because I know a lot of people are confused with the whole paragraph name, right? Like people are a bit like, why does it say paragraph? What does that mean? Isn't it normal? Like yada, yada. So I hope that clears things up for you and you understand not only what it is, how to change it or design it, and then also what you need to know from an SEO point of view. So if you found this video helpful, feel free to like the video or leave me a comment down below. You can also take a look at the other videos that I have here on my YouTube channel and all the other resources that I have on my blog and my website. And before you go, don't forget to grab a copy of that Squarespace SEO checklist. It's totally free and you, know, you can print off a copy, like stick it on your desk next to you and work your way through everything. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm thrilled to have you here and I will see you again soon in the next one. Bye.